welcome to the race briefing for the kids triathlon at the pack and save triathlon festival we'll go through most of the course details here you can also refer to the race manual that will have the schedule and exact timings of where you need to be and when first up the pre-race registration will be held on friday and saturday when you turn up to this registration the first thing you'll receive will be a bib number as you can see here this is to be worn throughout the event. Um, it doesn't need to be worn in the swim, um, but definitely on the bike and run legs and needs to be worn on the front of a child's uh, t-shirt or attached so we can see it when they cross the finish line. You'll also receive a swim cap that you need to wear during the swim. We're more than happy for you to reuse swim caps from previous year to save yourself having a drawer full of swim caps. And then finally, you'll receive a timing chip. This is to be worn around your left ankle. Make sure it is securely fastened, it's Velcro, uh, and that needs to stay on you for the duration of the event. On race day, the first uh, task you have is parking. You come off Sawyer's Arms Road, turn right onto a shingle road, uh, it takes you up a hill. When you get to the top of the hill, there'll be some officials there directing you where to park. Um, the parking is on the grass. When you exit, you will be driving across the grass uh, and exiting near the gate rather than driving back down the shingle road so that prevents any bottlenecks. It's really important for the kids race to know your timings because we do have road closures for the earlier races. So the roads will be closed from 7.40am so you must arrive before 7.40am otherwise the roads are closed until 9am and from that time there is a temporary stop go um, operating on Sawyer's Arms Road so you can access after that. It is a lot better if you can come earlier um, but the roads will reopen at 9 o'clock so just to reiterate there is no point turning up between 7.40am and 9am you will not be able to access the site so you must arrive before 7.40 or the roads will temporarily open again at 9am but only allowing access along Sawyer's Arms Road to the race site. From the parking area it's around about an 800 metre walk to the transition area initially along the shingle path um, past Lake Tahi which is the first lake and past the canoe polo area you'll then be entering the course if you are arriving after the first races are already underway please walk to the extreme side of the track to make sure you're not hindering anybody's progress especially as you approach the transition area first up the swim leg we will group the kids depending on how many entries we have on the day and they will start with a run slash wade slash swim through the water we'll have lifeguards lining the course and the kids literally need to get from the start point to the end point and they do exit the water as you can see in this image it's um, a bit of a step up out from the lake um, but still very manageable and then the kids will run off to their transition area transition area will be located um, for the kids at the end of the main transition area so they'll run out of the swim as you can see in this image grab their bikes run their bikes before they actually get on them through the bike rack area and then there'll be a marshal indicating where they can get off get onto their bikes and then they'll proceed onto the bike course the bike course is the same for all the kids it's an out and back um, circuit where they will go down the access road which is sealed for the first part then it turns to shingle they'll be turning right to go between the two lakes along the causeway when they make that right hand turn there is a small stream they'll need to bike through they can either jump off or try to ride through it it is quite variable how much water is going through there sometimes there's hardly any sometimes there's a little bit more they go down the causeway between the two lakes and then they make a left hand turn um, when they make that left hand turn the path is quite a bit narrower um, they'll go down to a marshal who will turn them at a cone and then they'll come back going exactly the same way what we really need uh, parents to reiterate to kids is that they need to keep to the left we know that's difficult for them when they're a young age but it's really important we avoid any head-on collisions so kids need to keep to the left final leg of the race is the run um, so the kids will exit the transition area uh, the opposite way that they come in do a little circuit and then come out onto the run course they'll go past where the finish line is making sure they don't go directly down the finish chute uh, and then they'll proceed to do one lap in an anti-clockwise direction around the lake uh, so just one lap around the lake and then when they come back towards the finish area they'll go down the finishing chute to complete their day we will have some chaperones out there 
here um, on both the bike and the run legs um, and we'll have marshals on all the corners um, but ultimately it is your responsibility to maybe go through the course the weekend before make sure the kids know where they're going. This event is brought to you by the Canterbury Triathlon Club. Please do all that you can to support the club who really maintain the sport in our region. We couldn't do this event also without our volunteers, so please be a good sport. Say thanks to them when you're out there. Be respectful, and when it's your turn, please try to volunteer at one event per year. Other than that, we hope you have a great race. Keep a smile on the dial and uh, enjoy yourselves. We're now just going to show you a complete run through of the bike and run courses um, using a GoPro so you can see exactly where to go and your kids might appreciate um, that as well as yourself. So here we go with the full bike course and the full run course.